Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hashem Ali Khan. So already two videos have completed on problems of simulation. Now in this video, two more problems I am going to explain. That is problem number six and problem number eight. Seventh problem I will explain in the next video because it's a lengthy problem. Now, uh, if you want the perfect knowledge, watch all the videos from beginning till end. Don't skip in between and don't join in between. This operation research comparatively is a tough subject when you compare with other subjects. So here it requires a lot of hard work. So what I suggest whenever you watch the video, keep a notebook, calculator, pen ready. Whatever I'm explaining, better you make the notes, write it down. Then only you can be able to get a good command on this subject. Now, before starting the sixth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot, then I'll explain. Now, see the problem number six. A small retailer has studied the weekly receipts and payments over the past 200 weeks and has developed the following set of information. So this business small retailer, he has recorded what are the receipts and what are the payments uh, in every week. The weekly receipts are 3,000, 5,000, 7,000, 12,000. So on an average, the receipts may be 3,000 or it may be 5,000 or 7,000 or 12,000. And the probability of receipts are 0 0.20, 0 0.30, 0 0.40, 0 0.10. Similarly, weekly payments are 4,000, 6,000, 8,000, 10,000. And the probability respective probabilities are 0 0.30, 0 0.40, 0 0.20, 0 0.10. So we are given four average receipts, four average payments weekly, right? For each payment, for each receipt, we are given the probability. Now, using the following set of random numbers, simulate the weekly pattern of receipts and payments for the 12 weeks of the next quarter. So, we have to find out the simulated receipts and simulated payments for 12 weeks. Assuming further that the, at the beginning, uh, bank balance was 8,000, what is the estimated balance at the end of 12 week period? What is the highest weekly balance during the quarter and what is the average weekly balance for the quarter? So different questions are asked. First of all, we need the simulated receipts and simulated payments. Once we calculate receipt and payment, we can find out the balance. Receipt minus payment is equal to balance. So we can get the balance every week, first week, second week, like that up to 12 weeks for the quarter. Then random numbers are given for receipts 0, 3, 91. Most of the problems in examination, random numbers will be given. In some problems, random numbers may not be given. That I'll explain in the next problem. But in this problem, you can see for receipts, random numbers are 0, 3, 91, 38, 55. For payment 61, 96, 30, 32. So we are given the random numbers. First of all, we need the random number interval for receipts and for payments. The two tables we will make. First table coding for receipts. The receipts are 3000, 5000, 7000, 12000 given in the problem. Probabilities are given 0 0.20, 0 0.30, 4010. 0, 0. Now we need cumulative. So 0.20 plus 0 0.30, 0 0.50 plus 0 0.40, 0 0.90 plus 0.1. Now first random number will be 00, 0 to 19. Because first cumulative probability is 20. So below 20, 19. So 00, 0 to 19, first coding. Second from 20 to 49, because 50 is there. 50 is there, that's why I'm taking 49. 20 to 49. Next 90 is there, so I'll take 89. So 50 to 89. Next one starts from 90 to 99. This is the random number coding for receipts. Now similarly random number coding for payments. The so payments are 4,000, 6,000, 8,000, 10,000. And the probability is 0 0.30402010 0 given in the problem. Cumulative 0 0.30 plus 0 0.40, 0 0.70 plus 0 0.20, 0 0.90 plus 0 0.10 is 1. First cumulative is 30. 
तो बिलो थर्टी ट्वेंटी नाइन तो कोडिंग विल बी जीरो जीरो टू ट्वेंटी नाइन नेक्स्ट वी बिगिन फॉर थर्टी थर्टी टू सिक्सटी नाइन बिकॉज इट इज सेवेंटी इयर नेक्स्ट इज सेवेंटी टू एटी नाइन बिकॉज नाइनटी इज देर सो विल स्टॉप एट एटी नाइन नाइनटी टू नाइनटी नाइन तो वी गॉट द कोडिंग फॉर रिसिट्स कोडिंग फॉर पेमेंट्स based on the random numbers given the receipts and payments and also the balance of various weeks can be simulated it's very easy because in the problem the random numbers are given for 12 weeks so here week simulated worksheet 1 2 3 4 up to 12 weeks so first we make receipts payments and balance receipt minus payment is equal to balance so what are the random numbers given in the problem for receipts Receipts random number are zero three ninety one thirty eight fifty five. All these are the random numbers given for receipts. Now locate that random number in the coding of receipt. The coding of receipt is here. The first random number zero three. Where zero three will fall? Zero zero to nineteen. Between this range zero three will fall. So what is the receipt? Three thousand. So I have taken three thousand. Ninety one will fall between ninety to ninety nine. What is the receipt here? Twelve thousand. So I have taken twelve thousand. Next comes thirty-eight. Thirty-eight will fall between twenty to forty-nine. So receipt is five thousand. I have taken five thousand. Like this, according to these random numbers, locate where it falls and the corresponding receipt. You take it here. That's all. Similar way, we have to find out the simulated payments. Random numbers for payments are given in the problem. Take the same random numbers. Now locate that random number in which interval it will fall. The first random number sixty one. Sixty one will fall between thirty to sixty nine. So what is the payment here? Six thousand. I have taken six thousand. Ninety six. So ninety six will fall between ninety to ninety nine. So what is the payment? Ten thousand. I have taken ten thousand. Like this, locate these random numbers in this interval and corresponding payment. You take it here. So we got the receipts and payments. Now, in the problem, it is given at the beginning of the first week, the opening cash balance was eight thousand. It is given in the problem. The beginning of the first week, the opening cash balance was eight thousand, and during the first week. How much are the receipts here? Three thousand. So eight thousand opening balance plus three thousand receipts. So eight plus three eleven. Out of eleven thousand payment is how much? Six thousand. So eleven thousand minus six thousand. Five thousand is the closing balance. Five thousand is the closing balance. Closing balance of first week. The closing balance of first week will become opening balance of second week. So opening balance second week five thousand. How much are the receipts for the second week? Twelve thousand. So five thousand plus twelve thousand seventeen thousand. Out of seventeen thousand payment payment is ten thousand. So seventeen minus ten seven thousand is the closing balance. This is the closing balance of second week. This will become opening balance of the third week. So third week opening balance seven thousand. How much are the receipts here? Five thousand. So seven thousand plus five thousand, twelve thousand. Twelve thousand minus six thousand is six thousand. Now six thousand plus seven thousand, thirteen thousand. Thirteen minus six is seven thousand. Now seven plus three, ten thousand. Ten thousand minus four thousand, six thousand. Six thousand. Six thousand plus five thousand, eleven thousand. Eleven thousand minus eight thousand, three thousand. This is the three thousand. Three thousand plus five thousand, eight thousand. Eight thousand plus six thousand. Eight thousand minus six thousand is two thousand. Like this, you have to calculate all the closing balance. Last one, you can see the opening balance. The closing balance of eleventh week is twelve two thousand. This two thousand is the opening balance of the twelfth week. So two thousand plus five thousand, seven thousand. Seven thousand is the total out of which payment is ten thousand. So seven thousand minus ten thousand is minus three thousand. So bracket denotes deficit. That's all. So you have prepared simulated receipts, simulated payments, and closing balance. Now, after that, we'll attempt the questions. It is asked in the problem. From the above table, we observe 
that the balance at the end of 12 weeks period is a deficit of 3000. After making all simulated calculations, we find that the closing cash balance at the end of 12th week is 3000 deficit because payment is more than receipts. So deficit of 3000. The highest weekly balance is 7000. If you observe carefully here, what is the highest balance? 7000, 7000. So 7000 is the highest balance. What is the average balance? The average balance means take the total of the all the balances divided by 12. That means 5000 plus 7000 plus 6000 plus 7000 last may minus 3000. You will get the total. The total of 12 weeks balances. That 12 weeks total balance divided by 12 you will get 3750. That is the average balance for the 12 weeks period. That's it. So I have explained each and every point for this problem. Next, problem number seven. Actually, seventh problem is a lengthy problem. There is no space. That's why I have not done in this video. In the next video, I'll do the seventh problem. Now come to the eighth problem. The inter-arrival time of customers follow a discrete distribution as shown in the following table. Inter-arrival time of customers. That means what is the time duration between one customer and the next customer. The probability distribution of inter-arrival time. Inter-arrival time, first customer, second customer, third customer. The probability is 0 0.20, 0 0.25, 0 0.35, 0 0.10. Then find out the mean arrival time with the application of appropriate formula. Random numbers are 22, 19, 16, 78, 0, 3, 93. Random numbers are given. So we have to find out what is the average inter-arrival time, right? Now, first of all, random number coding. Length, uh, period, length is equal to one minute. So for one, two, three, four, five, six minutes, the probability is given. That means the inter-arrival time is one minute. Inter-arrival time is two minutes. Inter-arrival time is four minutes. Like that, for six, we are given. The probabilities are given in the problem. Cumulative probability 0 0.20 plus 0 0.25, 0 0.45, 0 0.45 plus 0.35, 0 0.80. Cumulative. Now first random number interval. 0, 0 to 19 because 20 is there. So we stop at 19. 0, 0 to 19. Next we begin from 20 to 44, 45 to 79, 80 to 89, 90 to 97, 98, 90. Random number code. Now calculation of mean arrival time. So serial number 6 values are given. So random numbers are given 22, 19, 16, 78, 0, 3, 93. These random numbers are given. Now look at this 22 will fall in which interval? It will fall between 22, 44. What is the period here? 2. Similarly, next is 19. 19 will fall in the first one. 1. Then 16. 16 will fall under 1. 1. Then 78, 78 will fall between 45 to 79, 3. Then 0, 3, 0, 3 will fall in the first one, 1. Then 93, 93 will fall between this one, 5, right? Suppose arrival time, assuming time starts at 11, we can assume any time. So we assume that our clock begin, our, I mean business will start at 11 a.m. So at 11 a.m., the first customer inter-arrival time is 2 minutes. So 11.02. The first customer will arrive at 0, 11.02. Right? Next customer, 1 minute. So 0, 2 plus 1 is 0, 3. 11.03, 0, 3, another customer will come. <coughs> Next customer after 1 minute. So 11.04. 11, 0, 11, 0, 3 plus 1 is 11.04. 0, 0, 4. Next customer will come in 3 minutes. 3 minutes. So 04 plus 3 is 07. 07 plus 1 is 08. 08 plus 5 is 13. That means the 6 customers arrives in 30 minutes. We start our clock at 0, 11 a.m. So from 11 a.m. to 1102, no customer. First customer arrived at 1102. Right? Like that in 13 minutes, in 13 minutes, 6 customers arrived. Now, mean arrival time is 1 hour divided by inter-arrival time. 1 hour consists of 60 minutes. 1 hour consists of 60 minutes. Divided by 
वॉट इज द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ दिस सिक्स कस्टमर थर्टीन मिनट्स तो सिक्स कस्टमर अराइव इन थर्टीन मिनट्स राइट तो इंटर अराइवल टाइम सिक्सटी डिवाइडेड बाई थर्टीन फोर पॉइंट सिक्स टू कस्टमर पर आर दिस इज द इंटर अराइवल टाइम एवरेज इंटर अराइवल टाइम दैट्स so in this video two uh, problems i have explained that is 6th and 8th inshallah next video i'll start the 7th problem inshallah we'll continue if you are satisfied give a like to the video share my channel subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and by the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah we'll continue in the next video